is <laughs> this is the beginning. I know it's crazy. My hair is a mess. The beginning of the next trailer chapter. And I would have started filming yesterday when we actually left, but there was just too many little things to do and then it got dark and who wants to watch a video filmed in the dark? <laughs> so we are starting this thing now. We boondocked last night in a Walmart parking lot, which is super glamorous, but it worked. And since we have everything that we need hooked to Stuart's truck, it really doesn't matter where we stay. We have our food and our water and our bed. And honestly, I was so happy to crash into bed last night. So I'm going to try not to make this chapter just about driving, but that's literally what we're doing. We are leaving Connecticut. We're still in Connecticut. We boondocked in Danbury and we're going to be stopping somewhere in Pennsylvania at the end of today. And then we'll be driving to Indiana to see my family and then from there taking a few days to get down to Texas, which is our final destination in this whole thing. So <clears throat> I gotta get creative. I kind of just want to use this to show what our life is like now. It's not so much about the fact that we're driving, it's just about the fact that our house is now on wheels and we are living this more nomadic, I guess, uh, lifestyle. Yeah, we're doing this this thing that's different, so. We had a good night. Very good night. It got chilly, got it's down in the into the 50s in here. It's almost but, June, guys. See, this is a big no, reason. No, it is June. <laughs> it is officially June 1st. Yeah, this is a big reason why I want to get out of Connecticut is because it's June 1st and it's still in the 50s. Back home, it's like in the 70s. And in Texas, it's like in the 80s or 90s. And that's where I want to be. I cannot handle this cold weather anymore. I've dealt with it for three years and that is long enough for me. No offense to anybody who just loves Connecticut. You can have it. I'm going to Texas. <laughs> We're going to see some sights today. We're going to try to show you guys what our life is like now in this travel trailer and on the road because I think that's interesting and I think that's something that people are always curious about and we're just gonna see how it goes so welcome to another trailer chapter I don't know which trailer chapter this is I won't know till I edit the other one um, I've just lost lost track with everything going on but welcome and I hope you enjoy So, our latest adventure in the uh, first trailer use is that uh, we got a leak. Not like any kind of bad leak, but in our shower. Um, I'll show here in a second where it's cracked. Looks like the last people who owned this thing did not blow out the lines or did not fill it completely with antifreeze. They did that in like the toilets and some of the sinks and stuff, so we saw antifreeze. So it looked like they actually winterized it correctly. Um, come to find out, they didn't get all the water out because it did freeze and it did crack. Um, here we go. This is what it is. If you look at this shower, I've already pulled the cover off. A little cover plate that goes right here. Down below here, not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. Down there. That's a hairline crack from water freezing so we took our morning shower finally it really sprays out of the bottom and you don't get as much water pressure because of that we still had hot water which was great we still got clean which is great but we're gonna try and find something to do about this uh, we looked online Walmart Home Depot Lowe's none of them carry it there's a whole bunch of websites that carry these but I just looked up like camping world camper RV dealership 0.2 miles away guys we're gonna go over there they have some in stock Take some pictures over, we'll get a new one. Hopefully we'll take a normal shower tonight. Little stress crack in our RV faucet. RV dealership, the parts center, came in handy. Got us a new faucet to put on. And Rebecca will like this. Well actually she does like this. First off, there's no cracks. We'll both like that. But uh, it's chrome. It'll match the uh, shower head. But we're gonna hit the road. 
We've wasted enough time doing this. Uh, we'll do this before we take a shower tonight. So we are stopped somewhere in Pennsylvania right now. We stopped so that the animals could go to the bathroom and get some water. So we could go to the bathroom and get some water. We were able to open up the slide because it's like a big trucker stop. So I wanna walk in here real quick and just show you guys what our layout looks like when we travel. Because obviously things shift, so we have to like try to minimize that as much as possible. And that's been a little bit of a learning experience. So I just wanna show you guys the fairly contained, organized chaos that we have going on. Out there. I'm going to show everybody the organized chaos that we have going on. So we have the mirror laying on the bed so that it doesn't fall off the wall and break. And we have our trash can, which normally wouldn't be here and here. Our sofa luckily doesn't move too much, but we have our silverware on the sofa. I have to figure out what I'm going to do because this doesn't fit in any of our drawers. So let me know if you have ideas. Our table and chairs, <laughs> our oven, the kitchen cart we have here when the slide comes in, it's pretty much held right in place. All of my plants and the stuff that I haven't tacked down, and by tack I mean like this sticky stuff that I put Museum on the, buddy. yeah, kind of, um, is in the sink. And there's my honey. <laughs> All of our toiletries and everything in the sink. And back here is a little bit of a disaster because this AC unit has wheels and it rolls around a lot so it kind of shoves everything around. Luckily our washer and dryer don't mind the dirty clothes. <laughs> Doesn't really move too much but that has pushed some things around. I think I'm gonna grab a bungee out of my truck to help hold this drawer closed because my theory is when it got knocked over last time, it was because the drawer swung open and the kind of like momentum of that swinging open pulled it down. So I think I'm gonna get a bungee. And then luckily all of Bob's stuff hasn't moved. He's been my co-pilot in the truck with me when we drive and I bring him in here on our break so he can do his thing. And then other than that, everything's pretty much okay but as you can see we kind of have to rearrange things to make it work so that we don't end up with any damaged property while we're driving but it's working it's working we had some lunch i have a little pb and j and some nuts and a banana and you didn't see this part but i put barbecue chips on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich you got to keep life interesting and we're hitting the road again you ready to go, Bob? He'll settle down at some point and be in the seat next to me, but we're in Pennsylvania. Time to keep on rolling. Lot of breaks to give the animals a chance to go to the bathroom get water or whatever it's a chance for us to get out and stretch our legs and everything and hang out in here for a little bit and it keeps us from getting worn out from just driving constantly so we're parked at a truck stop right now that is just absolutely packed I've never yeah. seen so many truckers across, at one stop before across the road here uh, we pulled in where they've got some the big diesel pumps and stuff like that and actually like a mechanic shop in the back giant loves truck stop the scenery that we've been passing has just been gorgeous like rolling huge hills mountains really and farms Poconos. and just the Poconos. yeah it's incredible 
and I've been trying to get like video footage while we've been driving. I don't know how any of that has turned out because I'm trying to drive and pay attention to Bob and not wreck and everything. So I'm hoping that's, that's important. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can find like a rest stop or something to stop at, um, or something with an overview, so I can kind of show you guys what we're seeing. But we're gonna we've get been through the Poconos. We're gonna go through the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah. And then the Allegheny. Allegheny. So a lot of mountain ranges to drive through, and it's a lot of this kind of thing, but at least the scenery is gorgeous. Yeah, it's much better than being on a big old interstate that has nothing but city. We've avoided that. It feels good to be on the road and out of Connecticut, and it hit me. I honestly, it gave me like a little bit of a jolt. We were driving, and I was like, oh shit, rotten. And then I was like, wait, I don't ever have to go back there again. I don't have to worry about going to that military base to go to work, dealing with any of those people that I didn't like. I don't have to ever see anyone in that place ever again. And it was like, wow. And I knew it was gonna hit me in Pennsylvania. I don't know why, I just had the feeling that that was what it was gonna be when I had my revelation. And it was, and I was like, holy cow. I never have to go back there ever again. I never have to see any of those people. Like that part of my life, everything in Connecticut, is over and that's not to say that I'm not thankful for it and there were like silver linings and good things that came of it and everything because of course there were but it wasn't that great <laughs> you know it's, what else isn't that great the coffee <laughs> yeah the lady at the truck stop just gave me the coffee for free I knew how bad it was now I know why I teased it's, him it was because she thought he was cute but now I know it's because the coffee sucked and that's why I didn't get any it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and this coffee was made at like 5 a.m. you're like oh you don't want any coffee I'm like nah cuz I had a bad experience with truck stop coffee in uh, like southern Kentucky one time mm -hmm. I was like it was like cold water but anyway here we are and we're gonna continue driving at some point and I asked Stuart, I was like, so where's our stopping point tonight? And he's just like, and that's the cool thing too is it doesn't really matter. We can find a parking lot where we know we can park for the night and... Walmart's, Truck Stop, Bass Pro, Cabela's, Cracker Barrel, there's a whole bunch of places. Heck, we can go to a campground, but that's 50 bucks that all we're gonna use is for like yeah, well, eight, 10 hours yeah. while we're sleeping. Yeah, and we don't need, any sense. we don't need anything. final stop for the night. I am going to put the slide out and kind of get things organized a little bit and then make some dinner and try to get some editing stuff done and since we have a little bit of time and it's not you know the middle of the night when we're stopping hopefully I'll have some time to kind of unwind and relax so very successful day of travels I think. So here we are we've got the new faucet installed for those that didn't understand before, it was just literally a pipe in this guy. Um, we got that replaced. And for the moment of truth, hey honey, is the water pump on? Yeah. Water pump is on. All right. Moment of truth. Before I get it all screwed together, see if water comes out. Ah! It's coming out of this guy what it's supposed to and not out of that broken box that I just dropped. We're taking hot showers tonight. So we spent the night in a Walmart parking lot again. This is the last night we'll be boondocking before we get to Indiana to spend time with my family, which is gonna be really nice. But it's a small Walmart, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and it was a really quiet night. So we slept like rocks tucked away all cozy in our little trailer. So today we have about a eight hour drive before we get to Indiana and then 
we'll be staying in a campground, which will be cool because it'll be our first time camping in this thing. So it'll be nice to have electricity and be hooked up to shore power and everything because I really want to clean and I haven't been able to hook up like the vacuum cleaner or anything like that. So we're gonna pack up all the animals and hit the road. driving my truck with the spare stuff that we couldn't fit anywhere else in Stuart's little trailer which my truck pulls really well and the cool thing is I get paid basically to move my household goods by the Navy so I'll get some money for the time that I'm spent pulling this stuff which is nice. I feel like if you're on a road trip and you don't stop at a Cracker Barrel at least once, you're not really on a road trip. It's just like an institution with us. We always, always stop at a Cracker Barrel. So we got lunch and some air fresheners and looked around their cute shop and I wish I had the money to buy everything in it, but I don't. We are about four hours left of our drive and then we'll be in Indiana. It is our first morning in Indiana. We made it. We got here around 7.30 last night and it was kind of just a mad flurry of getting everything set up, but we are officially set up in our first camping spot. We are officially hooked up and everything, using this thing in every way we possibly can. So I just wanna show you guys the campsite real quick. It's absolutely beautiful. We have a huge empty cornfield on one side and the Ohio River on the other. We're set way back from the street. The highway is miles and miles away. We can't hear a thing. We are in the area where I grew up and it's really cool being back here and being in the quiet and the solitude. I didn't like it when I was growing up. I wanted to get out and get where there was people and noise and everything. But now, having already done that, coming back here and being able to relax and just kind of bask in the quietude is a real blessing. I am really, really happy to be back here. I'm really happy to be back here. So let me just show you guys what we have going on.
goal while we are here is to enjoy everything that we've put together here, relax, kind of recharge our batteries. I was completely exhausted last night by the time we got settled and everything, I basically just kind of shut down. And also to spend time with my family, reconnect with them, and just enjoy being somewhere beautiful and warm. Um, and I'm really looking forward, oh my goodness. I'm really looking forward to all of those things. It's much, much needed at this point. It's nice to be warm. We were in Ohio yesterday and stopped for fuel. It was like 88, 89 degrees. And I can't, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating this. I have not felt that since like last July. So it's, it's been- It's cold in Connecticut, guys. Like it's all been the time. 11 months. I wouldn't want to live like that. It just, my spirits came up as soon as- As soon as it got warm. Yeah. How do you feel about everything overall? It's working. I mean, as I said last night, we are now reaping what we sowed. So in order for me to be able to just relax and enjoy what we're doing and not worry about anything, I'm going to wrap the, fir the travel vlog up here and then we'll pick it back up in about a week when we leave here to head to Texas. But I don't want to be filming the whole time while I'm trying to spend time with my family and everything. I just want to be able to focus and be present doing that. So I'm going to be wrapping it up here, but never you fear, we'll be picking it back up when we hit the road again. So I hope you've enjoyed all of this so far. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I look forward to seeing you in the next travel vlog whenever and whenever I manage to get that put up. Thanks so much for watching, guys.